Hey guys, it's Rhonda here, and I've got another DIY project for you. I am going to, um, well, I decided to put up some peel and stick wallpaper in our bathroom just because I don't like what's behind the sink and beside the sink there is nothing it's just wallpaper so i wanted something that i can wipe clean or if it gets splattered the wall won't soak it up or anything like that which you know i had that issue in the kitchen in there and that's why i put pill and stick uh tiles next to my stove so i could wipe that off so i got some peel and stick uh wallpaper it's a brighter color really pretty kind of goes with the whole theme of blues and greens that I want for our uh, camper. So that's what I'm going to do today and I'm going to bring you along for the process and the end result. So stick to, stick around till the end and you will see what I have come up with. Hopefully it's good. I hope. Here we go. Let me clean all of this. This is a Lysol white, Clorox white, whatever it is. One of those, I think it's Clorox. Just to get any yuck off the wall. And I've done it once already. So we're going back over with that. Hello. And over here on the side. So first we're going to do this right here, this wall. And then we'll do that wall. I've got to remove those things first. <laughs> I'm going to see how one wall goes before I remove too much stuff and decide nah, I hate this. So I'm going to continue with this and we will see what happens. Okay, I finally got a strip cut and now I'm going to try to put this up. I'm not going to film this because I really don't have anywhere to put my camera right now. I don't know why. I don't know where my little thing is to mount it and stuff like that. So, um, put this up and then I'll show you if I get about halfway through and I can stop I'll show you what's going on old stuff new stuff now if I can get this whole surround area to look like this right here I will be very happy so now I've got to go cut some more wallpaper I decided to get my little pop-up table out and we're gonna cut over here so, all right, here we are. And from this edge right here over to about right here is where I'm gonna cut straight down. Not too bad. And most of it is going to be, you know, trimmed up on the edges and things like that. And, you know, it'll match up, that way it looks better, but right now I at least got it cut and we'll have one side done and I can kind of judge at that point whether I'm going to continue if I like it complete the completed strip or not all right I've got that one strip on that side done completely now and it's not so bad if I do say so myself so um, I'll show you that and then I'm gonna get the rest done and I'll kind of show you a little clips of it here and there as I'm doing it but not like talking points and stuff like that um, but yeah, I'll show you stuff as I go. And then at the end, I'll give you uh, my final thoughts on it and the final reveal of the whole thing. So here's what it looks like currently. All right, here is what it used to look like down here, that stuff. And I'm going over it with all this lovely blue, as you can see. I got it all. So I like the way it looks and I'm also going to, to make it look like a completed look. I'm going to put like a bead of caulk at the top and then down right here in the corner to make it look like it should be there and to kind of seal it in too. And I think I'll put like a bead of caulking right down here as well. So I will let you know how it goes as it goes. All right, one more step in this messy process because I've got a lot of scrap of, you know, just the trimmings and stuff all over the floor. So if you ever do this, it's it's kind of tedious, but it does work. Um, hopefully this will stick. Um, I'm doing it before it's super hot outside because, you know, Texas summers are notorious for being um, a pain in the butt. So uh, things like wallpaper, peel and stick tiles, they can come off. Now I've not had any problem with my peel and stick tiles that are next to my oven that I'll show you a picture of here. Um, they seem to be just fine. So, and they've been up there for two years, two and a half years. 
I don't know. Anyway, I'll have to flag it down here somewhere how long I've had those. And they have not even begun to loosen. So they are, they're there for life, I guess. I'm gonna give it a bit. I'm gonna see just by sitting if the wallpaper is going to adhere. And if it does, I'll make the decision of whether I'm going to put it on this wall where I've got my little uh, rewind, get into a flip-flop state of mind and my towel rack. Cause I was thinking about putting it all the way up, just kind of stopping it here, go all the way up and down to the sink here. But I may just go from like right here up to about right here. Um, so I'm hoping that, um, that this sticks because I think I'll at least do a partial wall, half wall, third wall, whatever of the wallpaper next to the sink. That way it just, it stays nicer, you know? So we'll see about that. But for right now, I'm going to get the rest of this done. Uh, excuse me. I'm going to get the rest of this done. And then I am going to show you the finished product and how I like it. And because I think I'm going to really like this. And then I will give you an update in a day or so to let you know whether it's actually adhering properly or not. I did wash the walls down. I wiped them down with Clorox wipes. I wiped them off. So this should take very well. Okay, so I'm pretty much done. Um, and I don't have enough to do the other wall, so that's probably not even a thing I'm gonna do anytime soon. But, um, down the road, I probably will um, if this wallpaper holds. Now, it seems to be pretty sticky and holding really well, but you know, that's really going to depend on the humidity and heat and everything we get this summer. So I'm hoping it, uh, it sticks because it's a lot. And um, as with most RVs, nothing is square at all. So yeah, that was a chore to try to get things to line up and whatnot. But it's okay. Um, I will show you tomorrow the finished product, you know, with everything in place in here. But for now, here is a look. At what it looks like. I'm kind of digging it. So I really love the color. Um, I think next time if I do some sort of wall treatment, um, you know, wallpaper, peel and stick tiles, something like that. I think I'm going to go with the more rigid peel and stick tiles and not uh, just a roll of sticky wallpaper because this this is much more difficult to deal with and to kind of finagle around like the medicine cabinet and things like that. But for now, um, it is going to stay overnight and then I'm going to check it in the morning and I will let you know. All right, it is the next day. Um, came out here just now, it's late afternoon, uh, to check to see how this wallpaper held up after 24 hours. And it seems to be doing just fine. Um, I was kind of worried about it. It's, you know, it is just peel and stick wallpaper and I'm putting it, you know, on a wall in a trailer. So, you know, I just wasn't sure how well it would stick. And, you know, the jury's still out on whether it'll stick long term but i figure if it sticks overnight then we have a chance but if it started peeling within the first 24 hours then i was just going to go ahead and take it off but as you will see right here all right well i am not seeing any issue hi um yeah i'm not seeing any issue with it all the way up there down here um it doesn't look like it's peeling it's holding tight to the wall which is a good sign um so i'll keep an eye on it for you know the next week or so and just see how it holds i mean if i even if i see it start peeling when we're just having normal springtime temperatures in the 70s and 80s i may go ahead and pull it because the 100 degree weather coming in the summer is not going to do it any any favors so but for now I really like it. I like how it turned out. This blue here, I just really enjoy it. And then if you can see down there in the corner, right there, I have a soap dish with a little skull on it. Those are some resin projects that I had done. <laughs> and I just thought, you know what? Those are the right colors to go in the trailer in the bathroom. So that's what I put in here. A little glittery soap dish and the glittery skull, you know, because I'm weird. 
But anyway, that is all I've got for y'all today. I hope you enjoyed this and found some sort of value in it. And I'll keep you updated on if anything happens to this uh, particular peel and stick wallpaper. I'll let you know how it goes and how it holds up. All right, I'm Jim and myself. I hope you have a great day and we will see you out there. Bye.